Alright, so hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Shred for Pokemon and um, CSGO. So, over like past, like m maybe a month ago ish, I got top 16 and a regional championships, and I wanted to analyze the games that were played and like would I agree with the cast series, stuff like that. So, this is this is the channel that runs that did the streaming that did all the stuff involved with it. Go subscribe to them and stuff. Name right there, sponsored by Card Leagues. There you go. All right, so we're just gonna jump into this. Let me find where this starts. This is a lot of mulliganing. Something like nine mulligans from Fort Wing. Okay, here we go. All right, so we're just finally getting set up here. Yeah. Here we go. All right. What's up, everybody? Nine uh, today taken. we have. So real quick, nine mulligans taken. Uh, I take all those mulligans because I have an N in hand and I'm planning on playing the it. regional championship. I guess for those who don't know, my name is Josh Quick and Mark of Team Fish Knuckles, and I'm joined by somebody else. So this game. Hello everyone. My name is Pablo Meza, quick, also known as dog. Tableman, and we'll be streaming live from here, Fort Wayne Regionals. That's right. right. And uh, I guess right now we have a really Vest Queen versus great. a Greninja matchup. And if you didn't Despite see it, being the Greninja player mulligan eight or nine times. Nine so times. Here, I get a second <laughs> nine times. You always want to have two. <laughs> So, I mean, if that doesn't set up this best coin player, really I don't know what else will, because like that's nine extra anyway. cards. is amazing. And in I'm all those mulligans, we did not enemies, get to see any Talonflame or anything, so do a nice Dominic might quick. only be playing for Froakie, which matters. is a very Does bold move, in my opinion. Yeah, no rim raids either, so it could. I guess it could be really bad. I don't know. I guess we'll find out what Dominic has in store for Darren, but... Darren's gonna get a really explosive turn one, I think. Yeah, he's got two unknowns, two combis, but I mean, you expect that with like nine mulligans. Like, you're gonna get set up kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, so, Acrobat, gonna look at the top two cards of his deck, and he's got a Shaman Azork, and neither one's useful. Like, he doesn't need Shaman, doesn't need Zork right now. Yeah. Um, Alright, so I, right there, I, this isn't really that notable. I probably should have taken the Shaman and dropped the Zorark because Zorark's really not that useful in this matchup at all. Um, Greninja doesn't bench much. The bunch, the most that they bench is um, three Frogadier and like a Froggy. So that's still not one shotting a break. That's one shotting a Greninja, but then that's only early game. Late game, it's just basically, it's not very helpful except for if they bubble you or something. But even then, that's like such a odd situation that it shouldn't happen that often actually guys i played against darren yesterday myself i was playing greninja and he beat me in the last round so i know a little bit about his about his deck and usually his turn ones are very long because he's doing all the acrobikes in order to discard more pokemon he has the clef keys he has the unknowns he has the trainer's mails the ultra balls so we're in for a we're in for a quite a long turn one. Although maybe the mulligans were not so good as we see an end. Yeah, because he end and he's only dropped two unknowns. But I mean, who knows? He's gonna feral letter twice, discard him, and draw a card. Probably did. Did Zorak make a difference in your matchup for the mind jack or no? No, he actually always went for Vespiguen only. He never even benched a Zerua. He mm. would always keep them in hand and discard the the Zeruas and. This is. Not very notable, but I probably should attach both clef keys to unknowns because actually I don't think it matters that much. No, it really doesn't matter at all. Zorark, <laughs> so his <laughs> main focus is Vespiquen and trying to this, thin out. This it. is the main misplay from this game. So, um, right here I mess up big time. So I should be realizing that Greninja has no way to kill um, anything on turn one unless they run some really stupid things, but. There is no way for him to kill my combi. I shouldn't be attaching to the bench, and this creates a really hard situation for me because I have to dig for two Vespiquens instead of one. Um, in the future turns, you'll see that in a, in a next turn where he will whiff the Froakie, and I'm going to have to dig for two Vespiquens instead of one because I have this DC in the bench, or I'll have to get a DC in Vespiquen. Either way, I need two cards instead of one. This deck to make sure he has access to 
verse, um, to Verse Seeker for Lysander or Ranger in case he needs it. Yeah, and for those who don't know, the Klefki can be basically attached to a tool, to a Pokemon, and then unknown discards, draw cards. So that way you can kind of stack and discard multiple Pokemon in one turn, which is what we saw. We saw the Cluffies being attached to Klefki, and then we attached to an unknown. So then you could discard it and, yeah. <laughs> and have a bunch of Pokemon. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. So Dominic's going to Balloon and Fade Town, which Fade Town is obviously use, useless in the matchup, but you don't want to have it in your deck. Yeah, for sure. So, and right now we see Dominic playing in with a single basic Pokemon in play. So if he whiffs another basic Pokemon or something like a Dive Ball, a Neutral Ball, or a Level Ball, then we might see a really quick game game one. Yeah, but the good thing right now, I don't know, it's interesting because Darren decided to put the DC on the bench Kombi, knowing that Dominic so yeah, couldn't there, really attack. There's, uh, like, so maybe he might whiff a Vesequin or something, so we'll see. <laughs> Uh, but if he gets two best queens, then obviously it's game. Yeah. So. No, I don't believe we see another basic Pokemon oh, for Dominic. So we'll have to see a bubble? Yeah. <laughs> and that He's still just me. means... This doesn't um, matter. Double all, evolution. Yeah. I have to yeah. evolve out of it anyway. So it here we go. It's going to be a bubble. If heads, he's paralyzed. And yeah, it he, is heads, so he, he is paralyzed. But if you evolve, you can't get out of the paralyzation. Uh, so we see so a Klefki. That prevents me from using Full Trouble in Darren's hand, so he's guaranteed much. to get at least I'm one of those. Sure if I have and he, oh, he Akrabat. discards an Acrobat and Shaman, here. okay. Okay, right uh, here. So he's going for so, sure get the, the Vesequin, going to evolve that one. Yeah. And he's got, I think he had a Sycamore. I know for sure I saw Via Seeker. Yeah. I'm really surprised he discarded two cards that could potentially get him closer, either to another Vesequin or to a double colorless yeah. energy for the win. Because you kind of just want to keep drawing, because you you know right now you just win if you just knock out the Froakie. All right, right here. So they're talking about how I, they're surprised that I discard the Shaman and the Acrobike. I had a justification for doing this. It's that I know this is a good matchup for me, pretty much, especially since I went first. I can just pretty much keep attacking Greninjas over and over again, where the fact that he really can't get much set up. So if I whiff this buff Buffalo I don't want to be screwing myself out of something like two Versus Seekers. Or I don't want to be screwing myself out of resources I'll need later. I think I had like maybe a special charge in hand. I know I had a couple of versus seekers. They're gonna mention it again with this end instead of playing Sycamore. Um that I didn't draw as many cards, but I didn't want to get rid of resources in case I do miss it. And I believe in my deck's consistency enough where I still believe I'm gonna draw it. I have like two two or three ultra balls left in the deck at this point, like a trainer's mail. There are still shamans left in the deck. Uh, unknowns. There's, I believe in the stats consistency to get the vessel gun, but if I didn't hit it, I wanted to be sure that I could still win the match and not be crippled. Dominic has no more bench Pokemon. He goes for an in. Wow. Okay, so uh, maybe he knows something that we don't know. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Um, maybe he's trying to make sure that even if he whiffs, he can still. In a longer game, he won't have the liability of having Shaman EX on the bench. Yeah, yeah probably easy so target brings it up. Ninja That's breaks, the brain water shot process. Was. That's true. Like. If you whiff it and then you have Shamus on the build, field, that's two for your prize cards for essentially the Greninja player. Okay. Yeah. Another thing, I'm not necessarily worried about having Shamus on the field because if he decides to Giant Water Shuriken my Shamus, first of all, he probably isn't going to get to the point where he has two Greninja Breaks out at a time, and I probably lose in that case anyway. But if he does get two Greninja Breaks on the field, he's I don't think he's going to want to waste them on killing um, Shamus because they, he can't one-shot. Vespal Quen's without it, unless there's Bursting Balloon damage on it. So it's very important that he uses those on Vespal Quen's and takes those threats off the field, because they can one-shot Greninja's right back no matter what. So leaving those leaving those to um, have a shot at surviving is not the ideal scenario. So this is this is one disagreement I have with Squeaky on this one. Is I just I don't think that's... I don't think the Shaman in the field's the issue. I think I just needed to uh, get it out in my hand. Uh, fuel be revenge to the point where so it we'll see unless he does he find a DC the there's a shaman Zora, and there's best queen so, so he's gonna best queen so retreat B revenge and that's DC gonna be a game one he has a ton of Pokemon it hits for weakness so 20. yeah so game one so this, going this to is Darien, just a donk so. man that's a rough way to start the day for Dominic <laughs> <laughs> Mulligan nine times your opponent doesn't really get too much out of it uh -huh. but then you whiff this second basic off of the end yeah and I'm still I mean, I don't know. Still trying to figure out if, if Dominic plays like more basics or not. It was just, yeah. just he does. For he Froakie, plays which, he, 
He flipped over his prices right now, and I don't think I saw. Yeah, anything. I didn't see any prize. Yeah, I saw splash energy, so we yeah. know he's playing multiple of those to re recycle yeah. his frog. Yeah, Dominic his plays frogs, the three so, splash energy or the four splash um, energy uh, for faded town build. The faded oh, town isn't exactly we'll see here, um, relevant, but the splash energy up was too. very relevant. And I actually um, make a this is an interesting matchup. I feel in like next Greninja game, definitely has a chance. But it lets him recycle. If he didn't have splash energy, this series would basically be over. Yeah, true. His Greninja would be gone in the flash, and it wouldn't be a chance. But he could recycle him. It gives him a chance in this matchup. The even current if it's slowness not of Dominic's, mm -hmm. um, I think, gives Darian a good advantage in now, this match. Do you know if Darian plays Forest of Giant Plants? I believe he does not. Okay. Um, the only stadium I saw him play yesterday was Parallel City. Okay. Interestingly, so I guess that was his um, line of defense against Mega Ray. Mm -hmm. And no. uh, okay, yeah. There's there's he, another disagreement I have. Mega Ray is already such a good matchup. Parallel City is not for Mega Ray. I want them to bench things with Mega Ray. I'd love for them to bench eight things because I can come in and swing with a Zorark. Zorak can do so much damage against Mega Ray. It's insane. Plus, you have Klefki. That matchup's basically an auto win to begin with. So, against Mega Ray, you pretty much just lead with Zorark and you, just keep rolling with Klefki and so make them, force them lie center around it. A factor in or our play games? the yeah, Tetra That's the only stadium I Or whatever them. goes with it. But See, I was worried about Dominic Mega if he starts issue. with the Lone Froki again and he plays Forest. He could potentially yeah. win on the first turn, but if you're saying he doesn't, but it looked like right now. Oh, he did start to call me, it, okay. I saw, like, starts, Klefki and nice. other stuff, and I was scared he had to start with the Klefki, which is always the worst. And Dominic doesn't mulligan a single there's time. <laughs> so. And there's a drop. <laughs> okay, so he plays at least five basic That's rough. Yeah, we know for sure at least five. For him, but it did cause so issues. So he's got a trainer's mode, look at top four. And I know, I think I saw it in his hand, but I don't know if I saw anything off the trainer's mail. Yeah. I saw Sycamore, but I don't. you don't want to grab it. Greninja, Sycamore. And yeah, just not going to get anything. Yeah. He's got three balloons in his hand, so you definitely don't want to stick more that yeah. away. <laughs> I think it's two balloons and a professor's oh. letter. Oh, okay. Yeah. But I think I would have attached the energy to the Jirachi at least to make sure you, you have the energy yeah. to retreat next turn. In this for case, turn he probably should have attached yeah, the energy sure. because there's a chance that he draws. He uh, plays like maybe five he, water. I mean, who knows five about water and four splash. So if he draws into like only splash energies or something like that, he can't, or no energies at all. He won't be able to retreat just Jirachi. He might be think well, having an energy on it already, the water energy on, allows him to retreat. I know he doesn't play Float Snow. It'll allow him to retreat, with, or it'll allow him to Stardust if I decide to put the DC in the active. This is the one scenario where putting the DC in the active would not be the right play, is if they start Jirachi. So, but in this case, it's not an issue, and he probably should have attached the water to either Stardust or retreat. I mean, he could be playing but switches. He could. Yeah, he, he has enough space with no other issue. Pokemon. I mean, we don't know. Not. I mean, like I said, the Jirachi all of a sudden came out of nowhere. So, I, I've never pulled off a triple giant water shuriken myself <laughs> because I've never played any switch effects in my Greninja lists. No only, Olympias. Only Floatstone. Never yeah. Olympia. Oh yeah. But maybe we could see that today. Yeah. <laughs> we don't know. What if the Olympias and switches? Yeah. Oh man, that'd be crazy. <laughs> Pretty sure right, he so, uh, a decently nice Dom draw here. But okay, he didn't get Dive Ball. Okay, cool. So we know he plays Dive Ball. We did not so see him play any ball. Ultra Balls or Dive Balls or Love Balls. So we know for sure he plays Dive Ball. I won't have the chance and to dunk again, unfortunately. Deck, um, <laughs> I believe we did see the promo Greninja. We do see the multiple Splash you mentioned. Mm -hmm. And quite a few energies. Yeah, but I don't see um, any other Pokemon besides, no. yeah, just the Frogs. Yep. Looks like he went for a really, really straightforward uh, way to play Greninja. Mm -hmm. um, I, well, I guess the only difference between that and my list was the Beedrill EX, which generated quite a lot of talk yesterday. Because <laughs> many people either did not know what it did, or were arguing that Minchino was yeah. better. But, I mean, I was very satisfied with Beedrill's performance. I didn't even yesterday. know Minchino was a was a poke like what it did until the other day if you were like it discards tools and I was like what no way mm -hmm. but uh looks like we see a trainer's mail he's gonna get the via seeker instead of a dive ball I guess he must not have a support card in his hand so yeah and I mean you didn't see he doesn't know he doesn't run forest of giant plants or maybe he knows but 
you'd feel pretty safe in this position as mm -hmm. long as you find even if i had forest here it really wouldn't be that much of an issue because he's throwing out yeah jirachi anyway should be comfortable here so here that's not a problem to have but a better chance of this the game game active, that's true forest would be an issue so he is he does have the water the water did drop back into that it's not that big of an issue so he's going to pass right there um, so on a Darien's turn, of course, turn, you know, he wants to Feral Letter, get those Klefkis down, yeah. get set up, and uh, I mean, it looks like he's going to do that this turn. He's got some Ultra Balls, but he's got double VS Secret, looks like, which yeah. is never good on the first turn. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. Double VS yeah. Secret. So and I grab the second Kombi. I'm probably, like, I'm might assuming I'm attaching to the Put you far flash. behind yeah. in the late game, mm -hmm. where you need to you use the me otherwise. supporters like Ranger against Jirachi, or like N in order to prevent your opponent from... Uh, having too many resources, yeah. and even though it doesn't seem like it's a big deal right now, in a longer game, it might actually matter. That's true, you're going to be running out of supporters and ways to play your supporters. So, right, so I do see the bench. So Via Seeker is playing Sycamore, I'm going to Seeker discard for seven more, new cards. No end, which forces um, me to get rid of two versus Seekers, which I'm not so exactly happy about. See, Acropike draws an Azor, but like you said, he didn't use it against you yesterday, so I, I imagine he's going to follow the same strategy. Yeah. I'm guessing Zorark is once again another line of defense against Mega Ray, Cross, perhaps. Yeah. But aside from that, like it's just overall all right. So Zorark, my back now, now in standard, I believe Zubstrika is definitely the, the best secondary attack you could pick, with Evil Tall Guard running around everywhere. Um, Zubstrika is definitely the best line you could pick. But in Fort Wayne, Evil Tall was just starting up. It wasn't as good. It was kind of doing well. It won the event overall, of course, but it wasn't everywhere. So Zoroark overall, it could catch a lot of people by surprise and punish. Um, it could punish Volcanion because they play a lot of EXs and stuff on the bench. Um, 160 isn't a kill, but it's still a fairly a very good amount of damage, and it probably in most cases, like early game, it can do more damage than a Vespaquen can. So you would lead with him and then sweep up with Vespaquen against Mega Ray. It gives you an auto win essentially. Um, against Rainbow Road, it gives you very good matchup. Um, and overall, it's just a good attacker, and it's also a good utility Pokemon where you can just stand and retreat for anything, really. Someone strands something, you stand and retreat. But, yeah, so that's the reason why I play Zorark. It, it's not necessarily just as an out to Mega Ray, because even if it wasn't there, I'd feel like I'd still have a very good Mega Ray ch um, matchup just because of Klefki. But, yeah, Zorark's more there for the utility and just overall power that back then other options didn't really offer for the meta at least because on the vespiquens mm -hmm. and i know he runs multiple like more than two of, or at least two rather of the trainer that gets back two pokemon from the discard pile the revitalizer the revitalizer yeah, yeah. so he can potentially have access to six Vespiquens. And that's a <laughs> lot of Vespiquen to deal with when you're a Greninja player. Now, uh, you, did you play Jirachi in your list yesterday? Yeah, I did play Jirachi. Did that make a difference at all? Like, did he? Did you ever start us against him? Or? I, I I had access to it during my games, and the Stardust attack, discarding the special energy, was really important and allowed me to stay in the game. Mm -hmm. But Darren plays Pokemon Ranger, so instead of having to <laughs> bypass. All right. So one thing recently that I'd like to point out is with Vespacon running around lately, I saw Alex Hill's list at um, London. He did play Ranger, but after the fact, he wrote an article saying that he did not like the card in Vespacon, that it didn't really help him at all. And I think it's very pivotal in the deck. Um, it clears up Glaceon. Glaceon's obviously not the big the big factor you're talking about. But um, recently in an LC, I beat a Giratina because of Ranger. Um, it gives you an out to Giratina. It gives you an out to Stardust. If... Stardust was allowed in this matchup, and you couldn't Ranger out of it. There would be a big problem in this matchup because he'd be able to just continually, continuously Stardust. But since you have Ranger, you can just kill it instead of Lysandering around it, and it makes the matchup a lot easier because Stardust is big for Greninja against this deck. Jirachi, um, with Lysander, he could simply get rid okay, of. Okay, another yeah. misplay here. Leaving this unknown on the bench probably not the best idea. This is debatable but in my head i just kind of wasn't thinking about this i kind of just left this because i didn't know what i was going to do next turn so i wanted to be able to have as many cards as i could to do so but in theory i probably should have discarded it just because of um he could have lie sanded it up and stalled as he um used frogadier and got three more on the bench so i probably should have just discarded this drawn another card worked with what i had 
The casters bring up a good point, though. In case I get end, I do have this that extra card to possibly, like, bring it back. But, yeah. I probably should have discarded this. Put a lot of pressure on my Subrats in order to get it back. Now, here's the interesting thing. Darren just passed, but he left the unknown on the bench. If Dominic can find a Lysander, he could bring that unknown up and get it stuck. I see a Lysander in his hand, but I don't know if he has an energy and... Frogadier in his hand. I don't see. Yeah, I don't see it. So, so he should that's, be okay. that's almost a Dominic, scary situation. I mean, if he has Darren energy probably did that and the frogadier gets the end. Mm -hmm. um, if you have the unknown on your bench, you essentially get an extra card in that's order true. to keep going. But and yeah, he plays the Greninja, end, so it works out for me. It's, it's very rare that they play a Lysander early on. They're mostly very trying to set up that turn to Frogadier. That's true. So even though it is a risk, oh, I, I feel like here. it's an okay risk to take on your first turn of the game against Greninja. Yeah, that's true. Now, we see a Burst Bone goes onto the Froakie. Did, um, you played Balloons in your list, I match, correct? Yeah. Yeah, I played four Balloons. Now, did that help you at all against this matchup? or? Um, yeah, the, the six damage counters when you get attacked are really important as well because they put Vespiguen in um, Shadow Stitching range, which okay. prevents Darren from using abilities and therefore any leftover known. So Shadow Stitching was kind shaming, of an issue, um, yeah. but I never found it an issue and enough to range out of it. it should be great, but so Darren it didn't known, influence honestly, that much as I me. usually got most games yesterday. <laughs> out of the way before he gets I tried to make going. the best out of it, but in the end, um, I, I didn't really stand a chance with the hands I drew. Yeah, that's true. Now, Dominic does have some pressure. He needs to find a frog, a deer, and a water. And I see a frog, a deer, but I don't think I see a water no. energy. And this is like, oh, he's going to retreat. Okay. Maybe, maybe he has a letter. Yeah, maybe we, we do. Oh, there's splash energy. Okay, we're good. Okay. So the splash energy is really good here because we know Darren's most likely going to take a knockout this turn. And then it gets returned back into his hand. So. No. This is where you usually already know how many Frogadier are priced, and looks like none are priced. So that's, so that's, that's really good news for Dominic, yeah. If he's gonna come back in this best of three, this is the way to do it with the Splash, with the Bursting Balloon, and having no Frogadier priced. That's true. So when you played him yesterday, did you have any Frogadiers priced, or were they all there? Um, game one, I actually priced two Frogadier. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so it was already our matchup, and that made it even harder <laughs> it's like now it's like a super terrible yeah but i mean darren's getting set up here he's got the best queen he's got a dce he's i mean doesn't need that many pokemon the discard pile for him for the weakness so yeah. and he's gonna get rid of shaman he just doesn't want to bench the shaman at all that's true yeah oh well, but there's yeah. no he might i think he has his if he has a sycamore we know yeah, he has so a sycamore here I'm just the discard pile shaman, so if he has another pokemon vs seeker he can discard i don't think i have shaman, enough actually to kill a the third vs seeker in the discard pile but i had yeah. enough to kill a frog here so, that means so less, also let's be drawing more cards he for only shaman, plays so. one lysander actually I'm debating so float stoning that could actually here, but really matter in the long it, term I should. As I mentioned, Jirachi's protection, he would only have access to a potential two ranger or a potential here I can two K on known chain again. Yeah. That could be really important for Dominic. Well, I do but we see Derry did bitch the shaman, so that could be the two right, prizes that Dominic needs, he's another needs in the problem. end game to win. Yeah. So coming up yeah, here he, he is I have a life center, so hand. he can not only avoid So there's the, several uh, things I can do here. You see me putting it to the front of my hand, huge, mm -hmm. but um, he can this actually get rid of a frog probably in this play is the fact that I actually back into Dominic's sure hand I would take back into the one that has a splash. Yeah, and then Frogadier Dominic and I can't. End. I mean, I don't think he can take a knockout because the max you can do is 80. So you can't even knock out the Vesquin next turn. Yeah. Exactly. So this Vesquin, it would live like for at least, second turn, at least another turn. That's not an issue. Yeah. I'm not worried about leaving the Shaman there. Because so. I know I can Parallel, parallel City away later. does have the option of Jirachi. And parallel City is very good in this also really Not nice only do I bump my Shaman, but I make his attack do minus crucial 20. For you to be able to it didn't influence it that much because usually you just bump it. But using Moonlight Slash. Pretty much everyone bumped it. So we'll see if Dominic And Miss Blade. Ooh, but he is just going to Sycamore. I Sycamore here. And I really don't know why. I'm pretty sure I have Maybe he wants to get sure i have an end of my discard pile first of all and i have a special charge in hand so i should probably end and put that back <laughs> and if there's one in my discard pile, i'm pretty sure there is at this point point. and second of all i'm this is forcing me to attack into this frogadier this frogadier has a splash energy on it so he's getting back both frog froakie and frogadier and i'm taking 60 damage from burst balloon so i don't and what was running through my mind here is like it's got an energy I've got to kill it but what I should be realizing is these Grinin just take one energy to attack he's going to find the energy anyway it doesn't matter so 
I should be Lysandering another Frog Deer and killing that one to take a fro take actually take a Frog Deer off the board. Had I done that early on, I might have a might have had an. Uh, I, it probably would have helped me, but I don't think it would have changed the outcome. I lose game two, so I don't think it would have like just set up. I don't think it would have destroyed. You know my Frokies, but more. I don't think it destroyed, it. I don't think it, destroyed it, but I think and it didn't even help. Got the this game did come very hard. So yeah. Darren being very aggressive here with his hand and with I have his a knack for that. I have a knack yeah. for being He's over getting a uh, turn to knock out, but at what cost? I have a background yeah, exactly. with the Night March. No. Dominic is going to front this. Yeah, I think he has a. I see a Greninja in his hand, so he can go for the Moonlight Slash you're talking about. Yeah. Take a knockout, and then he's got another Splash Energy, so that's, that Greninja is going back in his hand this turn. Yeah. So. It looks like Dominic doesn't have too much else, though. Um, doesn't look like he has a support turn in his hand. He had super well, one thing that the has, decision does um, do is it takes a Splash the Energy off the board. The, leaves it a Greninja three, break. But, yeah. Yeah. Playing so, four, I don't think it really matters. But he's gonna take a knockout. He has no burst pool either, so that best queen of the bench tamer, will live for no. at least a turn or two. Yep. So maybe they played play, paid off. Yeah, for sure. So. Um, Dominic's hand is a bit dead at the moment, so. So he, top deck of teammates, he can use it right now, gaining two cards out of his deck, and that that's what we're gonna see. And very good. I imagine right you're searching here for like combis. Draw teammates, maybe like, yeah, revitalizer, kill, yeah. kill. That's, that's like the dream. Yeah, we see revitalizer, maybe a DC. Oh. I can't even. Do you know he plays more than one special Probably charge? Probably DC, I, to be honest. I never saw more than one. Okay, so, so that could be huge in this matchup because yeah, I do he might run out of energy. By the way, he might, but it's gonna depend on Dominic. My match against really. Pablo, that just wasn't. He I really played Pablo top deck out of the position. Uh, it just right wasn't. Mm -hmm. I just pretty much rolled through. So if you're if you're Dominic, do you just promote the Froki and let the gate knocked out? Or two special charges at least. Well, I mean, Froki, you're gonna transfer your traits. That doesn't matter. Yeah, I always forget that. It's so good. Like always. <laughs> yeah, Greninja having free retreat is, I think, a huge um, factor in its success. Yeah. Because you're able to not only do that the might be revitalized while the shuriken honest. plays, but you're able to promote I'm that. I'm not sure if I have you combis see what else to draw. Yeah, exactly. I'm not sure you have them prize where I don't want so, to spend the ones in my deck. Because we dominate kind of know yeah, that Darren has three Via Seekers in Discord probably right yeah. now. Or I might so have like, rolled through them thing. early or something. So. Having issues dis well, attaching a DC. He, he should know that, but I don't think I've seen Dominic check his opponent's Discard, Discard pile so far. And I think that's something really important. After you use Sycamore, or after your opponent Sycamores, you should always give yourself like the 10, second it, 10 seconds it takes to so I get the other revivalizer. It's so going to be really uh, nice, because I think next turn we'll just do it again. What he and it allows me to use my revivalizers before I really need to Sycamore them or something. That's true. Now, see, Dominic did top a letter, and he has a Via Seeker in his hand yeah, as well. So, I, his prize. Yeah, yeah his prize yeah. and the top deck were really good for him. So, what would you do in this situation? Do you retreat to Jirachi and go for Stardust? Yeah, I think I definitely yeah. N plus the Stardust. That would put Darren in a really rough position, I think, because exactly. of what he has discarded. If he still had access to, I don't know, an extra Via Seeker or two, I would feel really comfortable if I was Darren, but. Seeing the special charge and the and the discard pile and the three verse seekers, I feel like as long as Dominic stabilizes after this turn and gets even a Greninja breakout to maybe get some extra damage counters in play, that's true. He should be good here. Yeah, but we'll see. Oh, so Dominic is gonna look now. He's gonna oh, say, "Okay, what, go. what do you have in there? We're gonna find yeah. out here in a second. Oh, he's yeah. gonna notice." So oh, as he's checking my discard pile, DCs. he realizes that I got rid of three versus seekers. And actually, I want to look back if there is. I feel like as long as Dominic stabilizes, it's possible I feel like that. as long as Dominic stabilizes after. Hey, okay, what, what do you have in there? We're so going to find out here in a second. In he's going to notice. Oh, he's going to see the teammates. So there isn't the a ranger in there. But That'd be the first thing I noticed. Been, three VS Seekers? All right, up we're ending here. Jirachi. Like, we're ending down like, a floor. No matter what. Yeah. Hope but um, three versus but like you Seeker, said, I had to go up early game. I four prizes left, and I only have one VS Seeker to work with. He, yeah, he realizes that. that definitely why like, I'd have to last it around the Ranger. So less and I have the Ranger in hand. Greninja gets KO'd so that's very helpful. If, I'm not sure if you don't DC find hand. another Greninja. But he's going to start us. Um, you get and this is actually, this 10 damage is actually Maybe relevant for once. But we don't in the see fact the that it's Yeah, we don't see an end. And we know Dan has a huge hand, but maybe Dominic's like, alright, he's played 3 damage matters Maybe he doesn't have another one in his hand. The 10 damage puts it in range Darren's of deck is pretty thin as well, so uh, an N to four is not going to hurt him um, that <laughs> very much, big hand, sure. I guess. But, uh, so if you're Dominic, Dominic, do you, you when you moonlight, or you, uh, with giant water skin, who do you try to aim for? Do you aim for the Shaman or do you aim for, aim for the bench Festival Queen? I think you go for whatever has energy. 
There okay. you go. Right there. Better, he, whatever is under. He does play a special it. second charge. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe he never needed a second special charge it gets against you. me yesterday, yeah. but we do see a second special charge, so... I just saw that, I was like, I didn't want to yeah. interrupt, but if I saw a second special charge, shame, I was like, oh, that's crazy, to okay. To KO, so, essentially, like, never mind, very Darren's hard. And a really good... And he's got Ranger. Tree, yep, Ranger, Ranger, so... And that should be... Yeah, if Dominic had end him, yeah. my, I don't it know. It takes away a big threat, having But we'll see what he decides to do, I mean... Like early Unlucky for him, he just decides to start us at the wrong time. And at that point, uh, I wish I could have killed the Greninja, well, but I don't think I had the option to. And at least um, one energy. I don't mm -hmm. think I had the Versus Seeker. I wanted to kill the Greninja because I knew that was coming, the break. Yeah. That was going to one, one he shot. He needs another Greninja to this thing. It makes things scary. He get another Greninja down. to break out. Things start getting really shaky here. So. But we see Super Rod. Go put back a water. Water, then probably the Jirachi. Yeah, that's the yeah. only three he yeah, has. Jirachi goes so. back in the deck, and now I'm concerned because I'm worried he's going like, to have to get we that out late game or something. Right I only have one versus Seeker left, and that gives him he's going to be able to get that out late game. And screw me over because I um, won't have access to Ranger. Dan, Dan Wood? Yeah. So we see Ace Trainer. Going to put Darien down to three because he's up on prizes. Yep. And then Ace Trainer. Donnie's going to get I'm a full hand of six. It's like but a free pot. Yeah. <laughs> and I believe. <laughs> and Donnie my deck is really thin. wants to um, find. I have energy. shamans left in there. Right I think I have Ace yeah. Shaman or some Ultra Balls and stuff. Go. I only have so one versus Seeker, which kind of say me. another Greninja. So if I have my only have out a is a versus Seeker, I'm kind of like screwed for the rest of the match. Yeah, because if if Dominic can shadow stitching here to not cut the best helps him a ton. Ace Trainer is such a good card. And down three, knowing that three Via Seekers are already discarded, he should be in a fantastic position. Yeah, as long as Darren doesn't draw too well out of the Ace Trainer. Mm -hmm. So um, now he gets another Greninja did. down. Put back and this, two this confirms right now, that he can get another break going. And he gets a Splash Energy. Good. But so he can Greninja break Yeah, pretty ideal setup for Dominic right now. Even gets the Splash. That's the third Splash we've seen, I believe. So he's going to Moonlight Slash most likely. And I have another we, He does top deck the DC okay, and nice. Revitalizer. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. So, that's, so that's he will take a knock on this turn. And then I get Dominic DC could potentially like do the whole Giant Water Shrink and Moonlight Slash. Like, I have knockout. enough to kill it. The, the combi and the Vesper. Yeah. That would be very good for, yeah. for Dominic. That put him in, in like a really good position. So. He's going to get everything back. I have two prizes left. Well, yeah. So, I mean, if Dominic takes two... I mean, no, if he takes two prize cards, he wins right now. Well, oh, no, no. Dominic... Oh, sorry. Long, wrong side. Wrong side. I got, <laughs> side, I got, yeah, I got excited. Up. I was like, oh, he's going to win right now. And nope, never mind. This is, he will this make Darren run out of attackers. Plays. This is what you play for when you're this, this, this is, like This you're is the turn where everything sure basically goes down. Eventually, you get two prizes. So he's second more out of here. a single turn. And we see a ton of energy. So it looks like Dominic might make the comeback here. All the other options are open. Like I said, probably Giant Warshkin the bench. He water shurikens the active. That's the big misplay. Is... I have one damage on me already. A Moonlight Slash knocks me out and basically screws me for the rest of the match because I'm st I have to send out the Shaman. But it, what he can't, what he should do is um, Jam Water Shirk in the bench. It kills the Combi and then just Moonlight Slash the active that puts him down to two prize. So not only is he tied in the prize exchange, but I'm also I also have no resources left on the bench. I have to like stall a turn with a Shaman, and even that's not ideal because I don't play Hex Maniac, so that, that Shaman would get killed. So I'd have to retreat into something. Like, I'd have to bench a Zoroa or something. And, like, get two Combies down. And it, it'd take me a while to recover. But instead, he just attacks straight into the Vespaquen. It, well, I still lose the match, like but it doesn't do makes that. it a little, huh, it makes it harder for him. Okay. He realizes it. Like he maybe he just didn't notice. Like it has ninety. He realizes HP. it. He said he even said so. Well, maybe he's going for a shadow stitching. Play. And then the top yeah, off so that way, balloon. Maybe, maybe like you said, maybe he doesn't know he plays forest giant plants. Yeah, that could be the key difference here. But we see burst mode coming down as well, so that's fantastic for Dominic here. Yeah, uh, he's got the vest queen. He's got it in. And he's got a his last verse seeker, so he could go. I for, have like no options here besides for Sycamore to give him the best odds of mm -hmm. drawing the of drawing the DC I'm he needs. Sure yeah. versus but he also Sycamore needs here, to get rid of my last yeah. one, yeah. which opens yeah. up to his Jirachi. It's gonna be interesting to see what happens. I I don't know though. I think Dominic could have put himself in a lot better position. Yeah, giant I'm water shuriken. I mean, honestly. sure, you allow Darren to play. Um, Things like unknown or really shaman X, but he would have had to promote <laughs> there the shaman. Really isn't so, anything else yeah. to consider. And he hasn't seen a single float stone or anything. Is that a shaman? I, I don't know why one, I discarded so that. Okay. Would have been yeah, that, that's a misplay, straight up. Um, I should have played that shaman 100. Uh, percent There's no way he should be targeting the bench shaman at this point, um, unless he has two Greninjas out and he has two prizes left. 
or two Greninja breaks out and two prizes left, which shouldn't happen because I have a Vespaquin active. So the fact that I didn't bench that Shaman to give myself a better chance of getting something worthwhile and not having to use that Versus Seeker, um, I should have played that for sure. Give myself a Combi and I wouldn't have to Sycamore or something. But Put I'm pretty sure I wish the Combi anyway. With no Forest of Giant Plants in sight, he so would have something. had a free turn of another, of more Giant Plants. That was Zora Flowstone. That is true. We do see the DC. We see Zora. So basically, I'm banking. On Zora's the really not going to matter in this, in this matchup right now. I know he does. So, um, so we see 16 from the burst balloon. Here comes Grenin it's a, it's Greninja. It's a struggle for and, me. Uh, it looks good for me. Like I have one break. prize left, yeah. but it's so there's a break. It's, it's He's got the energy good. in hand too, as well. So, so I, didn't, I didn't hit another combi. Had I benched that shit, maybe I would have been able to dig through three more cards in my deck, and I possibly could have found it. Not got the active with the moonlight slash. But he doesn't have a second energy. Yeah, he doesn't have second. So. Does like, he have a, oh, he doesn't have a supporter card, so... Yeah, exactly. This, but Darian's not... We know he's not going to take a knock on next turn. We yeah. know Darian doesn't play Force of Giant Plants, and... Well, we don't know. I thought he only oh, played one special charge. charge, and he just <laughs> played the second one, so... <laughs> he did find a combo My of justification for playing card, Force so this, this list is so... The yeah. list I played Dominic here is so cookie-cutter and, and doesn't find consistency-based that um, Force of Giant Plants could. would just... Potentially mm. get that last Vespa I just don't like it. I liked my 3 2 Acro Bike Nail true. Split too much. Now, if you dominate, you get, get rid of one of them. That was pretty much the only thing that I should say. He went for the Shadows to oh. yeah. Okay. The the I'm being dumb. So I didn't play the Shaman at that point because I was Shadow Stitching. I'm not very smart sometimes. So I get You're the Combi really now. Combi in. So he's going and in and down to one card. Oh my goodness. But if Dominic. Hits an energy. My that's only chance is unless him out of an energy shame, and then draw the Zorark. I would. That is. I it. don't know. I don't. No, if he still has the energy, uh, this yeah, game. Never yeah. mind. He's yeah. Still yeah. Still yeah. That. yeah. So, unless Darian so has a sneaky dark, dark energy in there for Moonless Madness, then yeah. uh, it's gonna be. A, it's gonna be interesting <laughs> to see what happens. Oh, so Dominic's not even gonna show what he has. I. Oh, let's see. Does he get it? Oh, I saw he's, Greninja break. He is but... looking at his discard pile. I don't know. So, I do not know. I whiff he's it. He's going to be forced something. to kill the Zorua. Uh, or see. actually, so VS might, Seeker. Uh, okay, so you combi. definitely sick him. Yeah. He was chasing me to see if he has Fisherman there. That's true. Yeah. Sick him more. Oh, no. He's Are we going to see the one energy he needs? Okay, let's see. Oh, he had double VS Seeker. Uh, That's what Tomar earlier just going for the straight up He discarded all those VS Seekers. Let's see. and Yeah, he's got it. So, yeah. So this that's smarter than what I was saying. Yeah, he needs to hit the giant water shuriken. If he doesn't, then or he could eh, he could have lie standard the combi. It probably was safer actually to lie the standard the combi because like what am I gonna do with yeah. this aura? I mean, it's possible so, yeah. that is in his mind he's thinking I don't know if he plays forest so, or not. I think the three but splash I don't. energy actually. Um, with the amount I've gone through my deck, it's probably safer than this that I don't. Back. Like, but even then, it's probably in the back of his mind, and he knows with that he's going to draw water energy. Actually it's not get a back big energy, issue. Yeah. Which he used that right could go now either way. The super and he, the Pokemon simply always stayed in place right. thanks to the thanks to the splash. Yeah. How many did you play any splash energies in your list yesterday? I did, but just the one. Just the one. Oh, okay. I had um, not only Jirachi but Beedrill X, and yeah. I wanted to make sure I could um, I could have the best odds of attacking with either one in a situation where I needed to. Yeah. Because in the previous regionals I came to in Orlando, um, I actually lost a game because the only energy I drew to retreat my Jirachi was the Splash. I was playing two <laughs> Splash and seven Water, and so I couldn't attach the Splash to Jirachi. That was left active, and that extra price card I gave up in that game was actually the determining factor. Uh, so yeah. in order to try to prevent that, I ended up with a... Well, a single splash and eight basic water energy, but Dominic's here on day two yeah. with three with, with three splash yeah. and no beat drill. It could be four splash. Could be. Four it could splash, be. Yeah. <laughs> it could be four splash. Yeah. Dominic but like you said, he doesn't splash. play the beat drill, so um, I am fairly yeah. certain that Dominic plays. Doesn't four really splash. need. I mean, the thing about the waters though, you you do need them for the giant water shuriken. Yeah. So you can't. Not as well. Yeah. Now I think both players are pretty are playing at a pretty good pace. Um, yeah. They're not. Um, I don't know. We still have plenty of time for this game. Within I'm a less than decently hour, fast player, pretty good. Yeah. Uh, except and I had been cutting down on caffeine for this tournament to see how it goes, and you can see it went pretty well. 
but um, uh, psycho. Yeah, yeah I still play pretty fast regardless of my caffeine. I'm gonna go for four. So four. I'm fine. Ooh, I'm, I'm kind of hoping that he just like ten. Like set Morgan the new record. We already had nine. I get one already nine. here. <laughs> but, um, I think he hits up a second time. So I don't think throughout the tournament, I usually drink Mountain Dew. And my best regional before this was like four four one something really bad. Start keeping account. I've been playing for seven years. Records for Pokemon streams. Bad for seven years. Most so, knockouts taking a I turn and stuff like that. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we see a second ball again. Okay. Like three, three, uh, three burst good. ones. Uh, Why not? Yeah, sounds good. Mm -hmm. So, it drops a couple cards Almost there. Almost as bad as drawing three verse seekers together. <laughs> That's what happened to me. <laughs> oh, right I'm already on two more games. I was actually so saved like praying so many times continues. by my opponent playing a turn one end in? after I had a dead <laughs> hand. <laughs> That's like the good and bad thing about N. Yeah. Like. All right, I, I need a new hand of six, but I don't know what my opponent has. I know yesterday it was a ton of times where I'm like, I had a bunch of Volcanians down. I'm like, I'm just going to pass. I'm not going to play a Sporta card. I have a bunch of Volcanians at Hoopa. I really don't need anything, and I don't know if you have a good hand. So yeah. I'm just going to wait and see. Do I need to end? Oh, we see a third Mulligan right now. Okay, all right. So I'm, I'm pretty sure Dominic just plays the four Frokies and one Jirachi. Yeah, I would I would assume so at that yeah. point, at this point as well. So. <laughs> but it, sorry. I said it did pay it off though. Yeah, <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> you do see three milligans, so yeah. am I gonna guess right? You said five, right? I said four. Oh, I four. four. Uh oh. Oh, I see a water poke. Oh, uh, nope, just three. No, sorry. He hits okay. this time. Two that's Pokemon. Two wow. All right, we'll take, we'll take it. We'll take it. And that's not bad either with all the splash But I'm too, going first here and yeah, going yeah. first against Turn is just so good because it lets so, you get. Uh, um, Darren is going to go first. Basically, two huge. knockouts before and you can get anything. Because you can kill a Froakie right off the bat. And you can play kill that, which um, a Froakie. He's here. shown like, against me and in the previous game. He's not really comfortable um, using Zorua in this matchup. Mm hmm. I really hate using Zora in this matchup. No, see. Just because they don't bench see. much. Plus, you oh, he already played the Alpha Bike. Okay. Yeah. So, right now, he's got a Shaman, a DC, Sycamore. He has no way to find a combo. Let's see. Oh, that's wow. not. Wrong grass Pokemon. Yeah. yeah. He has two Vest Queens in his hand right now with a DC, but we do know he plays two Special Charge. We do know he. Yeah. Do. <laughs> yep. But. It's once again he's gonna Sycamore away both Vespiquen and a DC yield ready. Yes, this is a rough Sycamore. Before getting to play so um, I, the combi, so he's gonna once again lose the wrong resources that could on a end up matter. The blue side is bench limiting, right? Or no? I'm not sure to be honest. I think I misplayed this. I might have misplayed this. I think I put the damage limiting side to myself. Give me a second. I'm probably being really dumb. All right, whatever, whatever I did, it's in didn't, the it, it yeah. didn't impact anything. Now we see he does bench Azor with the DC. <laughs> I can't it can see actually go useful. I'm blanking, yeah. Yeah. So. If you've, so I you DC, know, get I a bench bench of Frogadiers out, out just to give Zorak's gonna smack you. Yeah, it yeah. makes sense. So. Like the first prize against a Greninja after, or against a Frogadier, against uh, after on the turn he uses turn to water duplicate or water duplicates. It, mm. It'll probably net you a KO, so it works as a Vespiquen. That's and true. So now I get the Combi. Now Darren does Ultra for the Combi, and he does have Vespiquen in his hand, so he looks like he's going to have a good turn to uh, yeah. setting up right now. So He finds his Zorark and starts putting pressure oh, on Dominic. Oh, hold on. I, I, now I realize. I gave him the, the three bench Pokemon side because I see that he has this other Froakie on the bench. So had, like, had I like ended up leaving this or something... Or had I ended up not like whiffing the kill on the Froakie or something, and he tries to water duplicate, so he can only put two down instead of three. But the chances of him bumping the same are so yeah. high. Especially like, if you can like didn't matter. let your Zorks get knocked down, save your Vest Queens for later. That's Plus, really that's still debatable. Just so he does have Vest Queen DC like, and I'm end for next turn. Killing this Froakie anyway. Just gotta find a flow stone as Zorak next turn. He'd be start taking knockouts. So Dominic. <laughs> do, would you ever try to go bubble in this situation, or do you not even waste energy on um, the active? It, it depends entirely on my hand. If I have two water energy, then I might. Mm -hmm. If I only have one, then I'd rather play very safe and simply save it in my hand in order for, in order to be able to attach it to whatever Froki got KO'd. Because if you only have one, and say you attach it to the bench, expecting the KO, and they Lysander and KO, and then you're out of energy, then yeah. you can't water the flip. <laughs> or if you attach it to the active, and you whiff the flip, or he evolves and 
is able to KO the Froki, then you're out of energy as well. <laughs> and using that dive ball once, uh, like before, unless he's going to. No, I, I don't know. Now There's no reason for me and this to is go even better for the Frogadier right now. Yeah, even you don't if want I kill to the show your opponent you have the Frogadier. And if he, if your opponent uses both, N, then you have one less you. card that you can actually use next yeah, turn in order find to frog find the Frogadier. And that's exactly what we see. It's always weird. I mean, like you said, like you don't play Dive Ball unless you know for sure you're going to use Frogadier that turn. You're going to use Water Duplicates. Now, the interesting thing, Dominic does have three Frogadiers down. I don't know if that means... If he has like multiple Frogadier's prize or something, or it could, and that might explain the dive pool play. Yeah, but I mean, I, it's really important in I the later so stages of the game to spin out your deck. Given the stadium, so given maybe if you have all your Greninja in play, you really don't the need the dive pool, and you would just the fact that he has another Froakie down already point probably is not ideal. He doesn't really need one card unless he has like two Frogadier's prize. But I'm pretty sure he's one. Is actually hurting your own chances to. To do so I'm here. actually yeah. able to get. Now, is he Clef come down? I'm just gonna get attached to a Vespa Zora and save here. To pop and the Zora is able to take the kill. Clef only works for one which turn. allows so me to don't even save myself from using yeah. Vespa as much so as possible so I can save them from the ninjas. The thing about Dominic is he hasn't played his Porta card yet. And I think he doesn't have his Porta card in his hand again. Because I don't really care if Zora gets killed, to be honest. Now, we do see a dive ball, so he could get, and he's gonna go immediately for it. So, we're gonna see the water duplicates. So I guess it's okay that he doesn't have a supporter card because he's still going to get a setup. That's the, yeah. that's the good thing about Greninja. Sometimes mm -hmm. you don't even need to play a supporter card. Like, all right, I'm just going to water duplicates. He has a he burst balloon, balloon splash, splash energy. energy. He's good to go. Like, he's good to go this turn. Yeah, but, but next he's gonna turn. He's going to rely on the splash balloon. <laughs> a lot on the top trying to But see, Darian is in a situation. It. If he I has an end, does he play it? I mean, because like, against Duke Ninja, like, oh, he just water duplicates. That's what he wants to do. Yeah. That's why he didn't use a supporter. Yeah. Or... But uh, we only see two. He only has the two frogadiers coming down. So, yep. mm. one surprise. Um, that's never good news for for the Greninja player. Exactly, especially because earlier we talked about the math, like with Moonlight Slash with a six. Well, I mean the Shadow Stitching plus the uh, Burst Balloon. He can't do that. With Zork. Does Zork have a hundred or hundred at HP? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So. Yeah, so it's right there. What am I talking about? It's right there on the screen. Uh, <laughs> so I, get rid of another I actually line. just saw Dominic's hand. And this is something I did early on that I think I misplayed on. Is I already have plenty of Pokemon in the discard pile. I really don't need to get rid of the Sword Arc. I could get rid of a supporter in my hand or something. And when I'm I my philosophy, I'm always playing like gotta discard Pokemon, gotta discard Pokemon. What if I need to knock on any X? But he's playing Greninja. I have weakness against everything. I only need like Greninja has 170. I need six. Seven. Seven Pokemon in the discard pile to one shot at Greninja. So there is no need to get rid of the Zorark. Um, I should probably be evolving the Zora here, and it becomes relevant the later. Game. So oh, okay. Looks like he's, Good he's to go. gonna be okay for Here I'm trying game. to dig for yeah. a Lysander. But he is gonna be down two like prize cards. I'm sure. So. And one Frogadier prize. We saw last game that Dominic had to literally use his last Greninja. Like his, <laughs> it did come down to the last... Sixth yeah. Greninja? Or yeah. fifth Greninja? So that... Frogadier might end up hurting him in the longer run if he can't find the Frogadier off of his prize cards. Now, Darian does have a Lysander. You could do that play yeah, like you said earlier. Lysander that's smart, Froakie, to knock it out. Because the burst one doesn't hurt you. I don't know. My hand's going to look Dominic like Poshin, this turn. so that could influence yeah, my decision so. to grab the Vitalizer. But we've seen Darian not like to do those plays, so Ooh, maybe... So we see a Shaman coming down. He does have a V-Seeker and an N. Be interesting to see which, which supporter he decides to use. There's some Ultra Balls, so he can... If you Ultra Ball, do you try to get a Zork or do you get another Vest Queen here? I think Alright, so this situation, I should be definitely getting less fun. But before, when I had the Zork, I should should have evolved it, for sure. Um, like now, just getting I mean, a second Zork is, is priority numero. After uno. the game goes on longer, it's gonna get less strong, because Dominic will run out of benched Pokemon eventually. Yeah. But it looks like he is going to discard Shaman, which I do. I do like that. I does that thing, and he's going to discard it in, which most likely means he. Sh it looks like he's eyeballing the Lysander. Yeah. You're discarding all these resources, so hopefully he goes for this Lysander play to bring up a Frogadier. Now, he now, did discard I'm two Vest Queens turn one. Here. He did. So I got rid of two turn one. If he does, if he gets a Zork here, then find one here means the other Vest Queen's prize. And now yeah. I'm worried because that means Definitely. there are three Vest out of play. Four of us went out of play. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I have the revitalizer in hand. So even though Dominic prized a frogadier, Darian has prized a vest queen and discarded two. Yep. So.
So this this is this worried me. Um, he does have the revitalizer in hand though, so he could right get a best queen out right now, and he gets another energy on the field. Lysander, this, yeah, this okay, time there we go. I do like to play a lot. I, I realize the energy sure. really doesn't matter. He's right. getting like even though he has the two best, and I'm able to take another kill with. He's also getting a lot of mileage out of his which is very important, especially this time. He only have one best queen. I'm pretty sure I got one off the prize. I got another balloon or a combi or something. That's the good thing about playing four of them. Yeah, it wasn't. It was very. We do see he gets a forget your back, which is really good for. He for Dominic it back in. with the super rod and but he's gonna still stick over for a brand new hand so you're hoping to hit at least of just getting him back uh, automatically plus I don't take the 60 yeah if you, I don't man if you and don't I hit a Greninja kill. here the game he doesn't get a has to be almost over yeah. with, with, Dom, with Darian having Zorg. two vest queens of Zorg just knocking everything out so um he already attached this flash so we're not gonna see a, a Stardust this turn no that was from last turn cause remember he Lysander so he oh, could he could start us this turn yeah no you're fine but he does find that Greninja, so yep. question is, do you do you retreat and start us? Or he doesn't have a Drachi, that's yeah, the first, yeah. Oh, the they, speaking of Drachi, there it is, <laughs> Trader's Mill, so. <laughs> How many times do you wish you could grab something else off of the uh, Trader's Mill? Then? All the time. <laughs> 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 Happens so much. Or how many times do you want to train it? I'll grab the trainer's mail. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, I, I need the trainer. I need to keep going. <laughs> like, oh, well, I can't grab it. Thanks, Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> so, it'd be really broken if you can train as well for a shaman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I would like this uh, shaman off this trainer's mail. Thank you. See, then you you do have great ball for that. <laughs> <laughs> But now we do see a Greninja, a splash, and you're going to that guy on the bench. So, ooh, do you go for Shadow Stitching or Moonlight Slash? Or it's a difficult decision. I think you, I mean, you definitely keep the energy there. Okay, so so he does shadow go for stitching, shadow, shadow Stitching. stitching. Yeah. It doesn't really influence I, that much. I, I, I do like that play because, because Zorak's not going to take a knock on this Greninja. Right. It's only doing gone. 70 right now. So. And I'm pretty sure I got that off my prize. So. Not yet. So I can revitalize her and get both best friends back for both uh, of those this turn, but sitting He's been on three prize cards at six. I was going to say that I could pair away with Zorak. I believe he does have a verse seeker in his hand. So he could verse seeker. The uh, for the Lysander and yeah. KO Froki could potentially so there's a revitalizer for both best well. friends. I can only involve one. But the problem with that is he could get Greninja Break online. I don't know how much the difference is 60 damage for that, that one turn with the giant water stream would be. Two best friends on the bench. Something he has to always I've think got about. Zorark active that can retreat. Yeah. Can I think I'd be fine with letting him best. He doesn't have an opportunity to evolve because Greninja Break next turn. Or get the first one damage. He can't because Dominic can't take two best friends. No matter what, he doesn't have a Greninja Break. He can't. Crap. Yeah, that's true. But, but he does have the splash energy, so all those Pokemon going to return back to his hand. Yep. That's a good thing here. Yep. And Definitely he compensates can't, he can't, quite um, a bit for the fact that he's Dominic water has the Frogadier prize deal. Mm -hmm. But now he has a 1 in 6 security. chance to get it off of his prize card. <laughs> 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 this is where Tao might, might come in clutch. Yep. Yeah. So. The scary thing about Dominic here is Darren has that Vesquin on the bench. He's like, yeah, I'm ready, I'm, I'm ready to attack next turn. Like, I'm, I'm good to go. Like, doesn't he need to find it in uh, DC? We see an N. It's not going to matter. It's basically yeah, an Ace Trainer. Puts me down to three. Point. Again, um, concerned because... Darren's deck is pretty thin. Although so I do have it hurts Vesquin come down, so I'm yeah. not really that worried. He did but, play the um, Ace Trainer Vitalizer to get back both Vespiquins. Or end of three. At this point in the match. Ace Trainer, he's Darren trying to should have access to, to four Vespiquins to... To be able to deal with all the Greninjas. Yeah, that's true. I wonder if he got the one off the price card. I don't recall. I, I don't think we've seen it yeah. so far. But I think Darren did get a VS Seeker, so he does have a support card for next turn if he needs yeah. to use one. And he found the Floatstone as well, his second Floatstone. <laughs> so he, he's looking good. Yeah, he's yeah. looking good. So Trainer's Mill. I mean, imagine in this situation you try to get that Frogadier right there that we see yeah. to try to get set up even more. Um, does have a Froki, which I think you'd actually probably bench it, because you get the Splash Energy in the active. Ooh, but he's going to discard it, okay. Okay, so maybe he's going to go for Jirachi right now. Yeah. There's Jirachi, and I'm like, oh, now, can I get <laughs> The question Ranger? becomes, we, we know Darren has a, uh, a license discard pal. Yeah. So you can break, you, can I mean, you treat, bring the best, uh, the Greninja. Here I should be Lysandering, just, this just this getting this Greninja out if he doesn't for bench Greninja. another one. Greninja, can't. as you mentioned, yeah. um, getting, getting this Greninja out means no more Greninja, Greninja break, break again. from hitting play is really good because that's the only thing that can actually turn things around and allow Dominic to grab two prizes in a single turn. That's true. 
But uh, I guess he doesn't he have the energy and uh, he has to go the... with that instead. They're going to see Zork. Now, Zork still look can't look take a knockout. I just put him up there just because Three, six, nine, three, 100 three. damage. 130, too much. Mm -hmm. So, another DC as well. Like, oh my goodness, he is. Now, I think you, if you're Darren, you might consider KOing the Jirachi because so the Zora, Jirachi is like the only Standard thing that treat, might make you I know he doesn't play Hex Man yet because what Greninja is KO at this point. And I haven't seen one that has at least. Let's see. So he passed by the lead. Go for second more. Yeah. Second more. Okay. But remember, he does play that ranger. So ranger could become useful. He could find another Lysander. So ranger, he has, he has a lot of options in his deck. Yeah. So there's a via secret acrobike. So okay. he's looking good. Yeah. If you're turn, you, you want to make your deck as thin as possible. Then yeah. to if you if I Dominic's probably should follow up with another. This. Um, <laughs> that doesn't matter too much. Um, another end. Yeah. But he finds another revitalizer, so another Vespin coming down. Probably grabs another Kombi. And we saw Vespin in his deck. Like, <laughs> oh man, if you're Dominic here, what's, how, how are you feeling right now if you're Dominic? Yeah, like, I, uh, you're feeling a bit. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't know. It's going to be so This turn, I get the other Vespin down. And another Kombi. So see Vespin, Kombi. He's got another Zorak. He can just put that down if he wants to, so that way. He does a draw into the, the end kind of thing. I'm really not sure what next turn's gonna bring. So we'll see if Vespa come up. We'll see like a knockout. Whether or not he attacks does put down the Zork. Maybe just if we'll he save does, it for later. I'll dig for it. I actually draw it off the prize. We'll see a uh, good old so Frogadier. I don't even so, need to dig like for it. But like we said earlier, Greninja, I saw that. all the good like, turn oh, back in okay. <laughs> because that's He's splash energy. off the prize. Yeah. no problem. I don't even know how many that is. Is that his third or fourth one? I believe that's his third one. Okay. We've seen right now. But at this point, I wouldn't five. It's not looking good for him. Yeah, exactly. Like. Obviously. <laughs> but we'll see. Does he go for the so Stardust Blade? Well, he can't go for it all. He has three Vs Secrets Ninja in his hand. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you have to end. He really yeah. has no money. Yeah. No money. Well, well, maybe H. No, you end for sure. Pretty sure he's losing that in here. So. So Vs Secret. We're going to grab the end. Except for the stream match. I think. Um, Dominic, his only potential play is yeah. The end prevent so him ends me down preventing to two. Darren from attacking a single turn, and, and I'm like, Dominic okay, being I can able still pull to chain off. Lysander to get rid of all the DCs. Uh, yeah. Versus Seeker Lysander. But I mean, if Lysander Darren, I mean, if Dominic can find turn, and just wait in the turn because I have plenty of Pokemon. In, in, well, he already put the Frog Gear down the turn quickly. Zora. So if he can get two Greninja breaks up, he might be able to swing this match because there is a shame in the X on that bench. So or he can knock out all the dust points. I don't know. <laughs> and that makes but me, does that he? Makes okay, he does really find the water, it. and he is going to go for that Stardust play. So he goes for the Stardust play, yeah. but it's, it doesn't matter Which because makes I draw sense. into the If you're not going to KO, you might as well Stardust. Mm -hmm. And, that and now he can do the whole Moonlight again. Slash knockout thing yep. if he wants to, but that's still yeah, very see. scary. Uh, but there's the best best queen. Not only going to be very scary, but... Um, a special yeah. charge. Oh man, two two special agents get shut back in. Back in. I will give props to Darian for playing some old school DCs. Yeah, isn't that the evolution mm -hmm. ones? Those are the yeah, I, those are the old school. Yeah, those are the old school text. Yeah, that's what I that's what I play my, my decks. Really I love those. <laughs> I don't have any. Otherwise, I would definitely play those. They're like two dollars. Go ahead and buy some. Oh, I will. Yeah. <laughs> I will. I did not know. I think I think they're like two dollars. <laughs> but he's gonna treat to Zork, so does he have Oh a Ranger? Oh, wow. wow. This is really So dumb. not only does he save his best queen, he takes a knockout this turn. Just that is three the three. Cards. Perfect. Yeah. Special charge and ranger in the same Special hand. Charge, yeah. God, it does, uh, I don't think I could have asked ask for more. Except maybe And if Dominic doesn't versus Ranger up the Vespa Queen with the Vespa Queen probably damage and finds a way to recover Jirachi and Stardust in this turn. There's no way as as uh, Dominic can prevent a kill <laughs> next turn. Well, if he finds a Jirachi, he could just start us the active enemy. And that, all right, so I don't another know thing is, I'm not really worried about away, the but like, There's so uh, many things on the field. It comes down to how many VS seekers dare to use, like said earlier. It doesn't matter to me at all. He has like, multiple sure, lessons, okay, he has but five one prize card left for Darian. Okay, you can kill. One to five. I'll let you kill two You could go for the bubble play as well. That's always an option. I'll let you kill whatever you want. I have two other Pokemon that you powered up, and I have two fresh versus... But if he does get the second Zork down... Special energy DCs in my deck now. We'll see what happens. That I can just uh, Dominic should make sure he looks at all of his options there. here. One versus Eager Top 32, started. trying to grind out to make top Pretty eight. Both ready. these players, what, 20? 21 points. 21, so they have to win not, three rounds today? At least three, three rounds. Yeah. And possibly tie another one to, uh -huh. to win. We're playing five so rounds. Yeah, here. yeah, Dominic must not have anything. We see Darren and does advance. I should have. Uh, all right, so, so this is the situation where... Um, the Zorark from the beginning would have mattered is if if he like 
did a really dumb bubble play. Like, he put down a Froakie and bubbled this thing. Um, and I had a Zorark down. It would not have mattered at all. But otherwise, I'd have to rely on the flip. And if I miff whiffed the flip, then there'd be a problem. Because I'd give him a turn. But the fact that... Or no, he'd have to flip, excuse me. If he whips the flip, then I'd be fine. But if I had the Zorark, the flip wouldn't even matter. So it's not a major thing. I probably still would have won that game had he bubbled or not. But it's just a minor thing. So thank you for watching. Um, the casters, thank you for casting this game. Uh, Squeaky, of course. I'll, Squeaky and uh, Pablo Meza, I'll link the chan their channels in the description. I'm pretty sure you know them already anyway. And then um, the Dominic Bargardi, great, great opponent. I've played with him before. Or no, this is the first time I've played with him in a tournament. But he's come to our, he's from my area, or the relative area. He's been to our tournaments before. So I've been used to seeing him, and it was fun to finally be able to play against him. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'm sorry if I'm, if my analysis was a bit, was off. But otherwise, um, have a good day.